Buff163 is the largest and most widely renowned third-party CSGO marketplace. The problem is, depositing money is quite difficult. Since this is a Chinese website, the only way to deposit money naturally is with Alipay, but in order to do this, you must have a Chinese ID or passport. If you're here, I'm assuming you don't have that, so today, I'm going to show you three ways to deposit money into Buff163 without Alipay. But before I get into it, I'm giving away this field-tested Navaha knife Damascus steel when we hit 5,000 subscribers. If you'd like to enter, check out my most recent community post for instructions. Oh yeah, and before I forget, I just dropped the Witterly Discord server with the help of my friend Adib from Fiverr. If you'd like to join that or become a channel member, the links are in the description. Of the three methods in this video, I'll be showing a fast method with the most fees, a reliable method that's pretty fast with low fees, and a slow method with the least fees. First, let's talk about the slow method with the least fees. The most cost-effective way to deposit buff balance is to list extra CSGO items that you have and sell them for the balance. If you don't have any items you're willing to sell, but you have unlimited time to wait, just buy an item on a different marketplace or the Steam market and wait a week for the trade hold to end. This method has the least fees, but can potentially take the longest if you don't have any extra skins waiting around that you're ready to sell with no trade hold. The next method is the fast method with the most fees. If you guys didn't know, TF2 items don't have a trade hold if you receive them in trade. That means if you buy them on a third party marketplace, you can sell them back to buff instantly. Be very careful though, because if you buy them from the Steam market, there will still be a seven day trade hold. The best items for this are Manco supply crate keys since they are so liquid. I'd highly suggest doing your own research, but the two sites I found with the cheapest TF2 keys are DMarket and CS Deals. Make sure to check the current buff price of these keys because in order to get balance instantly, you're going to have to list these for one cent less than the current lowest listing. Next, buy the amount of keys that you want that adds up to the desired amount of buff balance you're hoping to get. Make sure to take into account the amount they sell for on buff as well as the 2.5% buff seller fee. Right now, there are 87 keys listed on CS deals for $1.82 and if I bought them all, that would cost me $158.34. On buff, these keys are going for $1.76, so if I wanted to get balance instantly, I'd have to list these for $1.75 each. Taking into account the 2.5% buff seller fee, that will leave me with $148.44 in buff balance, which is a $9.90 fee overall from CS deals and buff combined. The last method is my personal favorite when I don't just have extra skins lying around. Find a cash trader who is selling buff balance at the best rate. I recently went through this process and stumbled upon this Discord server called Trademart. I'm not sponsored by or affiliated with them, but they're the best. They have a stern cash trading verification process in which they only let cash traders with the highest reputation make posts. I found a member in here who is selling buff balance one to one, which means for every dollar you spend, they give you that in buff balance. In this case, there are minimal fees and it also is just a very quick process overall. Even though I do fully trust the members in this server, always use your own discretion and be wary of scammers. In my opinion, the smartest way to obtain buff balance is to buy a skin at a discounted rate with cash on another marketplace and to wait for the trade hold to end. But if you're looking to get balance sooner, I'd suggest finding a reputable cash trader who's selling buff balance. If you can't find someone who seems trustworthy, then move on to the TF2 key method. I hope this video helped and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, YouTube also thinks you'd like this one. Thanks for watching. Widely out.